guys. So today I'm going to be filming my July favorites and it's a little late but I haven't filmed a favorites video in months and I really have wanted to. I just haven't like had the time or when I thought about it it was way too late. So I figured I would film it this month because it's still like kind of the beginning of August. So um, yeah I don't have too much. These are just the products that have really stood out to me and then I feel like I haven't talked about a lot. I guess I'll start off with makeup items and I have more makeup items than anything else. So the first item I'm going to talk about is this and this is the Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is the Radiance one. She has a few different foundation primers but this is the Radiance and I think this is a pretty new product from Laura Mercier and I discovered this through my best friend Monica who I stayed with in Los Angeles in June. And she was using this and she put it on and I was like oh my god that makes your skin look so nice and she's like oh do you want to try some and I told I said well yeah of course so I tried it and I fell in love with it so we went to Sephora like the next day or maybe even later the same day and I totally bought it I like I couldn't even wait for eye mats this was before eye mats and I couldn't even wait to buy it at eye mats like I needed it that day it just gives you the most beautiful glow to your skin but it's really it's subtle it's not shimmery it looks so natural it makes your foundation look dewy and it makes your skin look glowy and it's just amazing amazing it's just oh my gosh I cannot express my love enough for this product it is a little pricey it's $30 but you get how much I think an ounce Oh, 1.7 ounces. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty decent size for foundation primers. So yeah, that's my first favorite. My next favorite I actually got at iMats and it's the NYX Matte Bronze. And I saw this and I don't, I think I have one other matte bronzer, but I saw this and it was a really, really good price. So I figured I would get it. And I'm in the color light. I think that's the lightest one. And it just looks like this and it's so natural looking and even though it's a matte bronzer it kind of gives a little bit of a sheen um, that looks like it would be way too dark on me but it's not like if you just use a little tiny bit it really blends out and that's another thing I like about it it blends out so nicely and so easily and it just looks really really natural so I love this bronzer and I still use my all-time favorite is my NARS Laguna and I still use that but I figured I would give it a give some Something else to try since I've been using that the NARS Laguna for like two years now so yeah I love this and it's really inexpensive you can find NYX products at Ulta if you were not aware the next makeup item is this and this is the benefit high beam and I got the really mini size because I got this in a little benefit trio thing and I this was sitting in my makeup drawer and I had never used it and I was like you know what I'm gonna try this out so I put it on and it was like I fell I fell in love with it and I've been using it every time I wear every time I wear makeup I put this on now and um it just comes with a little brush applicator like that and what I do is I put it on each cheekbone and a little bit down the bridge of my nose and I just pat it with my ring finger and I'm I'm wearing it right now I don't know if you can tell but if you see that like sheen like that it just gives the most gorgeous, gorgeous glow. So this has actually lasted me a really long time, and it's so small. So I'm going to definitely purchase the full size when this runs out, but I don't see that happening for a while. So my next favorite is from the Naked Palette, and I have not been using a lot of eyeshadow at all. Like, I... I don't know why, I mean today I am wearing, like this is the most eyeshadow I've worn in so long and um, I've just been wearing one color just because it's so easy and I've been using the color Virgin in the Naked Palette and it is a gorgeous light shimmery pink and I've just been using that all over the lid. Sometimes I won't wear eyeliner, sometimes I'll wear a little bit of black eyeliner on the top and then wear mascara but for the most part I've just been putting that all over the lid and then uh, putting on mascara and it's just really light and nice summery type of makeup so that is virgin right there it's just so pretty it's just a really nice shimmery wash of color now um urban decay did this thing where you can now buy they i don't know they changed all of their eyeshadows and i think it's kind of stupid they also raised their prices but now the good thing about it is you can buy virgin and i think a few other colors from the naked palette you can buy those in um like single pot form when before you couldn't so you can find virgin by itself if you don't have the naked palette and you don't want to spend the uh, $48 or however much it is you can just get the one eyeshadow 
So last for makeup items is this, and I think I talked about this in my last favorites video, which I don't know what month that was, but this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And I have the extra large size because I freaking love this stuff. It is so good. You shake it up and you spray it all over your face and it seriously makes your makeup last all day long. Like your makeup will not budge when you use this. And they have a couple other ones. They have the D-Slick and the do me I think and I've never tried either of those well actually I think I tried the D slick one time but I don't remember if I liked it or not um, but this one just sets all of your makeup it kind of makes it like come all together once you finish all of your makeup and I don't even use a setting powder anymore because I just use this to set my makeup and it kind of gives you the same effect that a setting powder would like it just kind of brings all of your makeup together without giving you that heavy cakey powdery look it's just such a good product and if you can find this extra large size it is a really good value because this was $34 and you can get their other one which is $29 and I think you get like 50% more with this or something like it's just a really good value for this size oh and I got this size at Ulta I'm not sure if Sephora carries it but I know Ulta does it's kind of like a limited thing so I don't know when they have it but definitely check Ulta so that's it for makeup the next couple of products are hair products and first I'm going to talk about this this is the clear scalp and hair therapy Damage and Color Repair Nourishing Shampoo, and this line, the Clear line, is a completely new brand that has just come out on the market, and um, Heidi Klum is like the spokesperson for it. And this really intrigued me because if you've been following my channel for a while, then you'll know that I've had a problem with my scalp. Um, I just have a really, really dry scalp, and it gets really flaky, and this really intrigued me because it's supposed to, it nourishes scalp for strong, beautiful hair, and it has nutrient 10 in it like a bunch of vitamins that are just supposed to be really nourishing and good for your scalp and whenever I've used dandruff shampoos in the past it turns my hair like orange like this coppery orange because of some ingredient that they put in it to um, prevent like dryness of the scalp and it just doesn't they never work for me I can't use them and I've never found one for color treated hair and I dye my hair and um, I just didn't know what to do so I was so intrigued by this because this is for colored hair and um, I was kind of skeptical like okay well if like I don't know if it's gonna do anything and this totally totally has helped my scalp problem um, I'm not gonna attribute it a hundred percent to the shampoo I really like the shampoo but I think another thing that I've been doing is using conditioner on my scalp when I wash it which I never did before because I thought that it would make my hair greasy and all that stuff but the combination of this and using conditioner on my scalp has really helped like I, my scalp problem is like 99% gone. I mean, it's still kind of dry, but it doesn't get flaky. I don't get, um, I know this is kind of like TMI, but I don't get like scabs on my scalp anymore. And, um, it's just, it, it's a hunt. My scalp was a hundred percent better than it was just a few months ago. So I would definitely recommend trying this out. It smells really good. I didn't notice that it did anything a hundred, like super huge for my hair health but the fact that it made my scalp that it's helping my scalp that's all that matters for me so and this is this brand is pretty inexpensive and they have a few different kinds of it so I would definitely recommend this if you have a scalp problem especially if you have color treated hair um, I think this is a really good product and um, I'm gonna do a whole hair care video my hair routine and everything because I haven't done one of those in over a year so I think I'm I think it's time um, so yeah I've been loving this the next hair product I'm going to talk about, I think I talked about in my last favorites video as well, and it is the John Frieda Frizzies Sheer Solution. I don't know why the heck no one is talking about this because it is seriously a miracle in a bottle. Like, it, I mean, I can't even express my love for this product, and I want everyone to know, and I want everyone to try it because it is so amazing. And what it is, um, I've actually used almost all of it, you shake it up. And it activates whatever technology it has, I don't even know. But um, it's lightweight frizz control and that's what it says on the back, I didn't just make that up. So you shake this up and you put a few drops on your hand. I have to put a lot because I have a lot of hair. Um, but you 
distribute it all throughout your damp hair after you wash it and um, it just completely for me anyway it has completely transformed my hair like my hair does not get frizzy anymore it doesn't it's really silky usually and that says a lot during the Florida during Florida summer because it gets super humid here and it's just nearly impossible to find products that can work and combat the um, the humidity so I am I've just been obsessed with this since I got it a couple months ago and I totally would recommend it you can find this at any drugstore I think it's like eight or nine dollars at Target um, but it's so so worth it guys like you need to try it. last but not least this is a body wash and I usually don't get super excited about body washes um, but this one I I am so excited about it and this is the Moonlight Path Creamy Body Wash uh, from Bath & Body Works and I got this for free because I had a coupon with Bath & Body Works if I bought if I I don't know if I bought a signature collection item then I got one for free and so I got this for free and it just smells so amazing like it smells very clean it kind of reminds me of like that shaving cream smell and I know that doesn't sound like it, it would be anything special but oh my goodness it just smells so clean and let's see if it can describe it I can't find like a description of the scent or anything so I would go to the Bath and Body Works website there's probably a description on there it's creamy it's their um, triple moisture complex or whatever so it makes your skin really soft and I have pretty soft skin so things that like I don't ever use lotion or moisturizer on my body just because it doesn't I just don't like moisturizer on my body like I never ever have um, I always wanted to really like lotion because they're always so intriguing but I just they just make me feel sticky and I don't really need lotion so I don't notice a huge difference in how soft it makes my skin but if you don't have soft skin then this might be a really good option for you um, and the thing that I like most about this is the smell stays on your body like it lingers after you get out of the shower and actually um, I was in my bathroom the other day and I could still smell it coming from my shower from using it and it just stays on your body you can smell it and that's really really hard to find with body washes at least I found the scents usually don't stick on my body they, they don't linger after the shower so I really like that about this and this was $12.50 if you just want to like go out and buy this but they have uh, Bath and Body Works has deals all the time with um, their signature collection items like you can get it for free or 20% off or whatever so you can find coupons for these all the time so that is all for my July favorites and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's been months since I posted my last favorites video but uh, better late than never I guess so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions at all please let me know um, also I have a give a little bit of a giveaway going on in my last video so you can check that out if you're interested and um, yeah I guess that's it so I will talk to you guys later bye